guys, back with another video log for you. And today I want to discuss low carbohydrate diets versus your kind of regular diets or non low carbohydrate diet as it were. Right now, low carbohydrate, high fat diet seems to be the flavor of the week in terms of being the cure from everything from uh, obesity, diabetes, HIV, cancer, inflammation, uh, <laughs> whatever ailment you have, uh, people seem to think it can cure it. Um, and we're going to discuss this a little bit, but I want to say it right up front. I think that everything are, is tools in a toolbox. Okay. So certain tools work better for certain people. Uh, some people really enjoy eating lower carbohydrate and that's fine. But as we're going to discuss, it's really not magic. And a lot of my clients have been asking me about this for body composition. One of the things I want you to understand is that most diets, the majority of the benefits of different diets are elucidated not because those diets themselves are somehow magic, but because those diets are able to induce fat loss and that fat loss, that weight loss produces uh, beneficial changes in metabolism. Okay. So uh, for example, in, in, in high, high fat, low carb diets, a lot of people worried about cholesterol, saturated fat, all these sorts of things. And what they found was in the research, when you lost body fat, um, those markers improved. So again, you know, to the benefit of that, uh, we see improvements in those markers that you might not think because you're eating more saturated fat and you're eating more total fat. But it goes the same way. You can eat a high carb diet and lower your blood glucose, lower your blood, lower your insulin over time and become more um, insulin sensitive just through weight loss itself. Okay. As far as body composition goes, there is a plethora of research data out there to show that when calories are controlled and protein is the same, low carb versus high carb versus moderate carb it doesn't make a difference now. And that's even with uh, like high sugar diets. They've shown that diets high in sugar don't make a difference on fat loss. If your protein and calories are controlled. Okay. It's, you can't get around it guys. Calories are the major driver for this. Now, some people do really well on a low carb, high fat diet because they like it better it's more satiating for them. And so they're better able to induce a caloric deficit, but they could probably get the same benefits eating a non high fat, low carb diet and doing a moderate fat, moderate carb diet or a higher carb, lower fat diet, whatever have you. It just, it just depends on what is going to work best for the individual. What allows them to create that caloric deficit. Okay. Some people seem to do better on low carb, high fat, some people high carb, low fat, some moderate for both. Okay. Now I get this a lot. A lot of people go to the insulin demon. All right. And they say, okay, but what about insulin? Yes. If you're eating a higher carbohydrate diet, you are going to use insulin to dispose of said carbohydrate. Uh, insulin is a storage hormone and is going to cause you to, uh, dr- increase, uh, driving fat into adipose tissue. Okay. However, keep in mind that when we're discussing different diets and comparing them, we have to compare them in the context of controlling overall calories. If we are going to compare them fairly in terms of physiological benefits, if you are eating, if you have, if you're comparing two diets, one is high carb one is high fat, the high fat diet, you don't need insulin to put fat into adipose tissue. Please keep this in mind. Okay. And yes, you can synthesize fat from carbohydrate. So if you're on a very high carb, low fat diet, you can synthesize some body fat from carbohydrate, but the research shows de novo lipogenesis is what that process called it's actually a really low amount of what gets contributed to fat stores. Like it's a really low amount. Now what high carbohydrate does is raise insulin levels, at least in the short term, acutely. Okay. 
Again, if you produce weight loss with that high carb diet, your overall insulin sensitivity is gonna go up. But during the time when you're actually feeding carbohydrate, you're gonna get an acute, acute short-term rise in insulin. That short-term rise in insulin is gonna take any um, kind of uh, fat that you consume in your diet and be more likely for that to go into fat cells. However, if you're controlling calories, that means that you're on a lower fat diet. If you're on a higher carb diet, that means you're consequently on a lower fat diet. And therefore, there's less fat to drive into adipose tissue. Okay? If you're on a high fat diet, you are going to be having lower levels of insulin and insulin driving less fat into cells. However, because you're consuming so much dietary fat, just by default, you're going to be getting more fat being pushed into adipose tissue. Now I get this also. You burn more fat when you're on a low carb diet. Yes, because you're eating more fat. Of course you would burn more fat if you're eating more fat. You're also storing more fat, okay? It is the net overall balance that makes the difference, guys. So same thing, if we look at a high carbohydrate, low fat diet, you're burning more carbohydrate. You're also storing more carbohydrate as glycan, glycogen. You're burning less fat. You're also storing less fat, okay? It is the relative rate of storage versus uh, oxidation that's going to make the difference. And at the end of the day, that relative rate is gonna be determined by your overall caloric load, okay? If you're, eating too many, if you're eating too many calories, uh, whether you're eating high carb or high fat, if you're eating too many overall calories, that's gonna provide a cushion to push more dietary fat into fat cells. And yes, you may be burning a higher overall rate of fat oxidation when you're eating a higher fat diet, but if you're, let's just take an arbitrary rate. If your rate of fat oxidation is like, let's say a 10, and on a, a high carbohydrate diet, it's a two, but you're also storing at an 11, <laughs> then you're still gaining fat, okay? So we have to keep in mind that it's the overall caloric balance that makes the biggest difference. And the only reason that high fat versus high carb is really gonna make a difference based on the scientific literature is which one enables you to create a caloric deficit better, okay? Now, if you're someone who enjoys eating a high carb diet, you find that works better for you, you're better able to stick to it, then by all means, eat a high carb diet. If you're somebody who finds that a low fat or a low carb diet, high fat, is easier for you to stick to, you feel more satiated, you feel better, then use that. Or Moderate for both. Any of those are fine. Make sure you're eating enough protein. Make sure you're eating enough fiber. Those are your biggest things. And controlling your overall calories is the most important thing. Again, on a high-fat diet, low-carb diet, you burn less carbohydrate, you store less carbohydrate, you burn more fat, you store more fat. as absolute amounts. On a high-carb diet, you burn less fat. You store less fat, you burn more carbohydrate, you store more carbohydrate, okay? This is very, very, very simple. Very simple. Basic physiology teaches us. Unfortunately, every 10 years in the fitness industry, these things pop up and people try to promote them as magic. Again, I'm not saying that low uh, carbohydrate, high fat doesn't have a place. It can. And I finally want to address the inflammation effect because a lot of people are talking about inflammation right now. The research has shown that even with a high carb, and in particular, even with a high sugar diet, if you create a caloric deficit, you will still get improvements in markers of inflammation. This was shown by Sirwit et al., uh, where they looked at even at over 100 grams of sugar intake per day, they still showed improvement in cholesterol, fat loss, insulin sensitivity, and inflammation. All these measurable health markers. It is the fat loss that makes the difference, guys. So whatever helps you lose that fat and get healthier overall is gonna be best for you. Maybe for you, that's low carbohydrate.
but maybe for somebody else, it's high carbohydrate. Maybe for somebody else, it's moderate carbohydrate. Either way, creating the caloric deficit and controlling your calories is the most important thing. Any short-term rises and falls in insulin will never supersede the caloric balance that you require to lose body fat. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and check out my website, biolane.com. Thanks, guys.